Hello and welcome to part two of this CraftCMS tutorial series. In this video, we're going to cover creating a home page. So we'll create a new page in the CraftCMS admin panel. We'll create a custom rich text field. We'll attach that field to the new page, and then we'll create a template and set it up to output the content of that page. So let's get started. So in the CraftCMS admin panel, the first thing we have to do is add a section for the home page. So we'll do that by going to Settings, Sections, and then we'll press New Section. We'll give it a name, Home, and you'll notice that it gives it a handle name automatically. And in CraftCMS, there are three section types. So there are Singles, which are good for unique single page templates. There are Channels, which are good for repeating content like blog posts, for example. And then there is Structure, which is good for structured content like building out a navigation or pages with subpages inside of them. So in the case of our homepage, we will choose single. So down in the URL settings, let's check this home box because this will let us use this as the homepage. And then let's select a template. By default, we have one template already, which is index. This was that welcome page we saw. So let's select that. We'll use that for the homepage and then just press save. Okay, so if we go to Entries, which is a new section that appeared here, we have one entry, which is the homepage. So let's click into that. And we can see there's not much we can do here because we haven't created any fields. But we can also view this in the browser. So let's press the Share button, and this will open up in the browser. And you can see this is just the default welcome page. We haven't edited it at all yet. So let's go ahead and override this default welcome template with something of our own. Let's go back to the terminal, and I'm going to use a command called code to open the project up in Visual Studio Code, and I'll put period, which represents the current directory we're in. So this will open this directory in Visual Studio Code. All right, so let's go to the templates directory, and we can see this index.twig file here, so I'll click on that, and this is just that welcome page that appeared when we first installed CraftCMS. So I'm going to actually delete all of this and just create a blank HTML5 document. I'll use this little Emmet abbreviation shortcode here. And let's just put a heading in here and say hello world and save that. And if we go back to the browser and refresh, this is our home page. So to make this a little more useful, let's create a custom rich text field and attach it to the home page so we can use the editor to create content. So to do that, let's go back to the admin panel. And to create a rich text field, we'll actually need a plugin called Redactor. So let's go to the plugin store and search Redactor. Here it is, it's a free plugin, so let's click this and go down and press install. All right, so that just finished installing. So now let's go to Settings, Fields, and we'll create a new field, and we'll call it Rich Text. And let's scroll down to the field type, and instead of plain text, let's choose Redactor, which is our Rich Text Editor. So for the configuration, if we do simple, we'll only get a few buttons like bold and italics, so let's choose standard to get a lot more options. You can leave everything else as is for now and press save. So now we have a field and we have a home page. But if we go back into the home page, it's not attached to it yet. So let's do that by going back to settings, back to sections, and let's edit the home page with this link here on the right, not with this, but with edit entry type. And here's where we can design the layout of the editor for this page. So we'll create a new tab. We'll call it something like content. And we'll drag our new rich text field into this tab. So let's save this. Go back to entries. And edit the home page. And here we go. We have a new rich text field here. So let's type some stuff in here. We can do a paragraph. We can do stuff like make it bold, of course. 
make a bulleted list. Wow, cool. And then we can also do something like a subheading. Let's choose an H2. And here's some more text. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. And if we go back to the page over here and refresh, we don't get anything yet. That's because we need to edit the template to use this new rich text field. So if we go back here to settings, to fields, we called it rich text and it got a handle of rich text in this camel case format. So this is what we'll need to use in our template. So let's open the code editor and let's go down here and we'll use this twig code here, the double curly brackets that will output data into the template and we'll say entry and the word entry represents whichever entry you're working within here in the template. So in this case, it's the homepage entry. So we'll use dot to get a property of this entry and we'll put that field handle in rich text. And if we save that and refresh the page in the browser, we get all of our rich text content. So that's how you create a homepage, create a template for it, create a custom field and attach it to that page. Thanks for watching.